Tradespoon Live TV. My name is Vlad Karpel and I'm the founder of Tradespoon. And to my left, a friend of mine, Joe Cusick, who is Moneyblock. Joe, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thanks, Vlad. Great. So let's jump into our first segment, Wall Street Week Ahead. What we've seen in the past week and going into the next week is ECB decision on the asset repurchasing program. At this point, there is 90% chance that ECB will start a aggressive asset repurchasing program and that will affect European stock market but also the United States stock market. The second thing we've seen is gold prices. The seen as short-term sell-off but we've seen that short positions, uh, sh short stock sellers are covering their positions and if you look at the CFTC data there is a lot more long positions in gold. So watch long uh, gold going to the, towards the end of the year and the beginning of the next year I think the gold will rally to the upside. We also have some earnings, Federal Express, Oracle, Adobe, so I think it will be a sneak preview into earnings season so make sure you pay attention. Uh, key earnings events this week and I want to see Joe what do you see in the Wall Street week ahead yeah taking a look we're gonna have housing starts and 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 also building permits uh, keep an eye on XHB that's the ETF that tracks uh, home builders it's pricing in the potential of around an 88 cent move and you can always check out the webinars that we have recorded that we actually go over those estimated moves I know um, Vlad does a, a webinar on that quite often and there's recorded ones so take an opportunity to look at that um, now and then Tuesday we're also going into that two-day FOMC meeting. Now I want to, you know, we're going to talk about this in the volatility segment real quick. Um, typically, you're going to see that the market gets a little in front of these announcements. And today and tomorrow and going into Wednesday do not look like they're going to disappoint on that front. So we'll talk about that in the volatility segment. But the spiders are pricing in the potential to move four dollars and fifty-two cents. Yes, I said that. Four dollars and fifty-two cents. That's a big move. There is a lot of vol built into this this week, so be prepared. Uh, finally, we'll go into the initial claims and the continuing claims at the end of the week. Keep an eye on the small caps. The IWM, which is the ETF that tracks the Russell 2000 small cap, they're pricing in the potential to move around three dollars. That is a pretty significant move. We got volatility in these markets. I'm excited. Yeah, so watch the technical levels for spiders. As Joe mentioned, look at the estimated move and what is the price range that the spiders is going to be trading. We are approaching towards the end of the year. A lot of people are taking vacation, so the volume is down. So expect a heightened volatility. And so making sure to protect your portfolio and not over leverage your portfolio. Make sure you keep 25 to 30 of your portfolio in cash in case the market does sell off as it's been in today and in the past couple of days and this is a perfect opportunity to kind of buy into the weakness that we've been talking about in the past. Mm -hmm.